Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Jake Ludington here at HP Discover in Vienna, Austria, and some things are being announced around the cloud, and I've got Steve Deitch here to talk about what HP is doing that's new in the cloud. Right. So. Uh We've made a, a, a number of significant announcements here at the show, and you can categorize them in, in three categories. Helping clients build a cloud, uh, the security challenges they have, and then thirdly, how we're helping address the business and the technology skill gaps that are actually widening um, as cloud becomes more pervasive. Um, if we start with the build, um, probably three significant things that we probably want to touch on. Number one, um, the first ever out of the box bursting. So our flagship build offering cloud system, uh, the industry's leading integrated solution for clients that want to build and manage a private, public, or hybrid cloud. Now, as of today, we have out of the box bursting. So that, that means, I, like, to clarify what that means, that, that you're saying that um, it'll automatically scale up, scale down, depending on needs? It will actually, uh, for customers that have a desire to have maximum agility and flexibility, when your on-premise cloud system runs out of resources, or the policies that you've set as a business dictate that you actually go grab off-premise resources because of performance, cost, regulatory compliance, or whatever reasons, right out of the box, Cloud System now is capable to burst to our Cloud Agile partner, Savvis. Nice. And in the future, we'll expand that as we go through 2012 to other service providers. I was going to say, so there, there will be other service providers there coming out soon. be a large number of service providers. We will go very, very big in the future. Um, number two is expansion of our Cloud Agile service provider partnership program. Um, we announced this, uh, the launch at Discover in Las Vegas back in June. We're now bringing that to Europe, and uh, the first three Cloud Agile partners are on board as of today. Um, and we expect to see uh, a significant number of, of partners coming on as the months and the quarters go by in Europe uh, as, uh, as we deliver the benefits of it, including extended sales reach, uh, expanded services portfolios for those service providers, as well as incentives, trainings, financing, and so forth. And uh, thirdly, uh, excitement around our partnership with Alcatel-Lucent. So several years back, uh, we announced a strategic 10-year partnership with Alcatel-Lucent, HP. Uh, and today we were uh, happy to announce the, uh, some strategic extensions to our cloud system offering, which now allows service providers to offer differentiated cloud services where they actually can leverage both their IT capabilities as well as their network in the same fell swoop. Automated provisioning, automated management, policy-based selection of different nodes in the cloud based on customer requirements, speed, faster time to revenue, some real, real excitement, first of a kind, of the combination of cloud system with those telecom assets. What, what was the previous uh, scenario that people had to work with prior to this? Well, if you're a service provider, it was all fragmented. So you had an understanding that cloud is fairly immature from a service provider perspective, but you would go and actually try to rev up your cloud services and then have to ad hoc or in some sort of inefficient way tie your network services to the IT cloud services to actually create an end-to-end, -end, I'll call it, I don't want to use the word, seamless experience for your customers. Um, so that's about the build. Um, then some exciting stuff around security. So when, when folks talk about security in a lot of cases, in 99% of the cases, you hear about people talking about technology. Um, but security and its, its implications for the cloud are much, much more from that. Their people, their processes, their technology, their policies. So we've now launched uh, the Cloud Protection Program, a comprehensive program from Hewlett Packard that brings together three components. First, a reference architecture. Um, which provides a blueprint or a template for customers to implement the right security strategy. Um, we've brought a full spectrum of services from strategy to consulting to implementation, design, support, and so forth for that, that security based on that reference architecture. And thirdly, we've constructed a lab, a cloud protection lab, working actually with some of our strategic alliance partners like VMware, Microsoft, McAfee, to actually work to ensure that all this works and customers can feel confident deploying that reference architecture with those services into their environments. Now does this tie in at all to, one of, like, cause one of the, the challenges in cloud security is the fact that people have like all these profiles that they're managing and they've got 
they've got a public cloud profile, they may have a private cloud profile, and they're, they're switching back and forth between them. And, and maybe even they have multiples of each one. And, and it, does this do anything to address that issue? Well, it's, it's part of the, the consulting services. Clearly, you want to look at identity management and the whole federated identity that goes in, which is a challenge even without the cloud today. Um, so that that is ultimately, yes, the answer is as part of that evaluation, as the part of the strategy, part of the reference architecture, you want to implement an identity management setup that's efficient, flexible, but also maintains your security and compliance capabilities. Um, and then thirdly, um, the skill gap. So as cloud becomes more pervasive, there is a widening skill gap in the marketplace, both from a business and technology perspective. So as part of our Expert One certification program, we're actually launching the industry's first set of certifications for the cloud, built specifically around cloud system. So certifications around helping clients build a private cloud, build a public cloud, and build a hybrid cloud. And then in addition to that, helping with an efficient distribution or delivery of those certifications. And in particular, we've actually signed up five of the world's largest independent training organizations to actually deliver our certification courses and curriculum um, as we move forward. Now, was this based on, on partner feedback that uh, there was a, a serious lack of knowing who knows what they're doing in the cloud? This is partner feedback, customer feedback, our own our own insight into uh, just a lack of know-how and expertise to deal with the complexities of the cloud. Once again, dealing with not only the technology, but the people and processes. Uh, if you go back to my previous comment, if you don't think about the things and the implications beyond technology, people will be very, very disappointed with the cloud. In particular, the standardization of processes, because the cloud, one of the fundamental tenets is around automation. You can't automate something that you haven't standardized. And if everybody isn't all in in your organization about standardizing and leveraging common processes, you're going to be very, very disappointed. So then part of the certification process is, is helping have somebody who's sort of a champion of the standardization within the organization. Champion is that and, and actually being able to apply the technology know-how to, to make it happen. Um, you know, taking that one step further, the other kind of interesting uh, aspects of the program on the delivery side is we're actually bringing our certification to two and four year higher education institutes. So the HP Institute is being launched as another delivery mechanism, integrating our certification into the standard curriculum on the technology side. And finally, for those people that, you know, like to stay at home or don't like to go to courses at two or four year universities or whatever, we're actually launching the HP Press. So for folks that want standalone self-study, you'll be able to do that with our certification as well. And that's going to be a, probably a combination of online and books? Yes, yes. Well, excellent. Those, those sound like three great announcements. Yeah, no, we're real, real excited, and there'll be more to come. Uh, and uh, we're looking forward to, to seeing uh, the penetration success in the marketplace. All right, well, thanks, Steve. You're very welcome, Jay.